hello this is Chris welcome to the channel uh, hopefully you like this new headset and hopefully it you know uh, cuts out the background noise just a little bit anyway uh, this video is about the Parrot Bebop drone the first one many of you have had crashes like me and are fed up well uh, I've learned a lot and I'm still I still got my other drone and it's still working well but basically a couple things that'll help you is if you calibrate the compass every time before a flight if you can if you can't then observe the behavior of the drone and if it's maneuvering well uh, and it's staying in, in, in hovering in one spot accurately then don't worry um, you can probably fly it and be safe and that's kind of what I've been going by is observing the behavior of the drone if I can't calibrate the compass uh, secondly, get a sky controller. Uh, it just beams out the Wi-Fi signal so much better than your than your phone or your tablet. Uh, and uh, uh, most of the time, I can get uh, 500 feet no problem. Uh, and I, I haven't tried two kilometers yet, um, but I'm just happy with with that because I mean that's still uh, pretty far away. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the, the next thing is uh, maybe mess with your networking a little bit on the Sky Controller or on the phone. Um, you In the Free Flight Pro app, you go down to networking and you can see uh, either 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, auto, manual. Uh, if you can adjust the signal or the channel, then uh, maybe that could... Uh, boost your Wi-Fi signal or just make it uh, more stable um, use a Wi-Fi analyzer and you can um, see what channels are being used uh, more frequently and sometimes you can pick one that no one else is using and boom th that'll solve most of your issues um, now <clears throat> always plan before you fly obviously um, you know and then just have a basic flight plan in your mind on what you're going to do if if something is not working properly in flight where are you going to land um, but for the most part you need to just be in an open clearing and that's where it's going to work best um, but having that sky controller uh, is a real real benefit I think that's the number one thing if you get the pair of bebop is is to get that if you're going to fly over water, especially, make sure you're m observe. Like I said before, observe uh, the behavior of the drone. If it's pretty accurate, I think you're going to have a successful flight. If it's all over the place, probably not. But don't get so close to the water, okay? If you get close to the water, I mean, any little wind or whatever, it's going to make it, you know, bob up and down, and you may hit the water. Um, so make sure your altitude is at least 30 meters or so or higher <clears throat> right 30 meters uh, well not 30 meters but just say maybe a hundred feet ish uh, and then see the behavior and then you can probably lower it down to 70 or 50 feet just to <clears throat> get a better angle on what you want to look at but uh, if you're 10 feet off the ground that's uh, you're, you're pushing it you're pushing your luck a little bit uh, what else did I want to talk about? <clears throat> um, yeah, those are the main things that I wanted to talk about. Um, enjoy the videos uh, that, uh, that I have set forth for you. Uh, I have learned how to put some overlays over these videos. Tell me what you think about it. 